Good morning. Today we're going to be doing Algebra, Section 3.5, Compound Inequalities, Part 1. Open up your notebooks to Section 3.5, um, to page 19 in your notes, and let's take a look at this together. First of all, a um, couple things we need to make sure of. Um, where it says disjunction on this second line, I'd like you to cross that out, and I'd like you instead to put the word conjunction. For those of you who are good in English, you will know a conjunction is where two things are both true at the same time. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So once again, draw, write out the word disjunction and replace that with the word conjunction. Now, up until now we've been doing inequalities that only have one inequality in a problem. Today we're going to look at where two inequalities overlap. Now, our result or our answer for our inequalities is going to be written as one continuous inequality as it says right here in our overview. So let's look at example one. Example one we have two inequalities they are both very simple and reviewing for the quiz today this is a good review. What I want to do is I want to graph each of these inequalities on three the number lines shown here. So I'm going to put zero right in the middle for all three number lines so do that now. And then let's put 3 for all three number lines all the way down, and negative 1 for all three number lines all the way down. Our first number line, x is less than 3, is going to be graphed on the first number line. So we put a circle, an open circle right there, and since it points to the left, we're going to shade to the left. So go ahead and shade in everything to the left. Remember your large arrow needs to go at the end of your number line because there's more numbers off the number line than there is on the number line. Our second equation is x is greater than or equal to negative 1. I'm going to graph this red one on the second number line. So I'm going to put a circle at negative 1. I'm going to shade to the right. Now, if we were giving me a grade on this, how would you grade me? Would you see anything wrong with the number line that's there? I'm sure Jake has his hand up by now, and he'd realize that we do have a mistake on the graph, and that mistake is I did not fill in the circle. So, now we have the two number lines graphed. My question is, where does the red number line overlap the blue number line? Well, it overlaps in the middle. So I'm going to graph the compound inequality from negative 1 to 3. Where do they overlap? They overlap everywhere in between. Now you'll notice I shaded in between those two number lines. I'm also going to fill in the number negative 1. Because at negative 1, it's filled in on this number line and it's filled in on the blue number line. So the result is everything from negative 1 to positive 3. Now we need to write this down. We write it down just like the number line says. Negative 1 on one side is less than or equal to x. That's this one, read backwards. And x is less than 3, which is the first one written right here. You always follow the number line pattern, and that is our algebraic answer, and this is our graphical answer. This concludes example number one.